So let's take a uh, quick peek here, the sector shaft adjustment. I'm not going to do the adjustment. I'm going to, while I have it open, show you what's going on so uh, maybe get an idea what it is. And basically this was a learning thing for me too because I didn't understand. So uh, according to the book, the end play on the sector shaft, okay, if you take your pitman arm, I can raise this up and down, okay? Now when it's out, you want to take this adjustment screw in this shim, uh, and I can't do it here with it in, okay, but you want to put a feeler gauge between the head of this adjustment screw and the bottom of the slot there, okay, so take it all out, put it in there, and it needs to be, uh, I believe the book said uh, between uh, 0 .0004, okay, which is less than a half a thousandth, um, up to uh, 0 .0015, something like that, check the book for it, manuals are on uh, olddotsons.com, tech page. Uh, anyway, I can I can tell here that uh, it's it's within spec. There's there's just the tiniest bit of play there. Okay, I'm not going to. Uh, I'll check it before I put it back together, probably. But uh, for right now, okay, what this does is this goes in here and bolts goes back in here <laughs> for Pete's sakes. Uh, I just slid it in and out of there a couple times, but. Whatever. There we go. Okay, the uh, cover. Um, okay, the cover sits on there like that. That threads up in. Okay, so this cover is stout. That cover, as you turn this screw in and out, will lift this sector shaft up and down. Okay, so once you get the end play there, that's when the screw is locked in. That's how much this will go up and down on the head of that adjustment screw. Okay should be extremely little. Now if you look here, I'm pushing the, the sector shaft up. It's actually above this mounting surface here, okay? But look how much play there is. That's 20, 25 thousandths, easy. Okay, now as we drop, that's all the way down. I'm gonna go about halfway, that's less. Now when I go all the way down, look at that. There's zero play. Now, I don't believe I'm all the way down. If I took a measurement of this to comparison from here to here, and then took the ball screw shaft back out, uh, I think it would actually go down farther, okay? Because what's happening here is now that I'm down, when I get to middle right here, it's binding up big time right there, okay? So that would need to get adjusted up just a little bit. So they tell you when you do your adjustment, you want it in the middle and you want it right there. Okay, so I would set it right there. And very little play, you know, but as it, it yeah, in fact, I actually just watched it drop uh, as, I, as I got past that point. The sector shack that, uh, and then when I come back, it's binding again. So, I, you know, there's definitely some wear in here and out on the edges. Uh, you know, full lock turn like that, there's definitely going to be some more. Uh, but you would definitely want to do your adjustment in the middle here, just like that, and you would want to bring it down. Uh, you don't want it pushing down. You, don't, you wouldn't want that adjusting adjustment screw pushing down on here because that would cause it to bind. So you would actually want to put that in there and play with that a little bit. And it'd be far easier if your tie rod ends were disconnected uh, or you're disconnect, preferably from the pitman arm, because then you can just move the pitman arm back and forth. And if you adjust that too low, put the screw in too far, you're going to start feeling some binding there as you run it through. I would also take the steering wheel off, just so you don't have to fight that mass, okay, as you're pushing it back and forth. Um, it's not on this shaft, which makes it a whole lot easier. But, you know, so if you adjusted the screw up that high, man, lots of play. You run it down a little bit, takes away a lot of the play, you push it down too hard, it's going to bind. Oh, I, this one's going to bind. Yours may not. Anyway, I think that uh, four and a half minutes, that should have pretty well covered that, I think. Hey, what the heck, I have to go through and do this anyway. <laughs> so I might as well turn the, uh, the video on and uh, you guys can uh, watch or not watch at your choice. Okay, so you can see what I'm doing here. I'm running this, uh, running the screw up here. Uh, 
to get it down close enough, I want to be able to put these uh, in. I don't want to uh, bring that up so far that it's lifting the sector shaft because then I'm going to have trouble moving that gasket around, getting it lined back up to get these uh, screws in. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and get these in real quick. There's not a whole lot of play there. I don't think there's uh, any problem there with the... Uh, let me grab the box nut real quick. My uh, plug there is bad, but uh, anyway. Okay, so if I read it right, I want to back this out all the way. And what that's doing is that's lifting the sector shaft. Okay, I could lift it before. I can't lift it now. It's all the way up against the top. Okay, I got a ton of play. I'm going to let it down. I still got play. I still got play. Oh, you know, I could actually look through the hole there. Yep, still got play. Oops, wrong way. Okay, no play. And just that quarter turn there. Not even a quarter, an eighth. I'm going from feeling, oh, just maybe a tiny bit, but it's it's in the ball screw, basically. It's the looseness there. Oh. Okay, now I've turned it down enough there. I feel no play. I could tell tension on the screw there. I could feel it lift slightly. I got the tiniest bit of play there. It does, it does go up and down here, so that uh, shim and screw may have more play in it than I think. But uh, actually, in order to check that... Oh yeah, see it went away. There we go. Uh, the book did say to uh, make sure that you uh, have the right wrenches on hand when you do this stuff. <laughs> uh, it did say to make sure this is tightened down. So the little bit of play I felt in the pitman arm going up and down, that was actually the threads. Uh, that was actually the threads in the bolt. So now what I want to do is I'm going to grab the pitman arm and I'm going to rotate it back and forth. Oh, see, there's that, there's that bind, okay, that I didn't want. So let's loosen this back up a hair. Let's just turn it. Let's just turn it. Oh, about that. Eighth of a turn or so. Oh, the bind is less. And I'm bringing it back to middle, right in the middle of the bind. And that's part of the reason why I'm having trouble getting the screw up. There we go. That's a little easier. Uh, because it was jammed down in the teeth there. I was having to lift it up against there. Okay. I'm still feeling a little there. And I'm just going to keep going at a you know quarter of a turn here, I think. Oh, there, there's, a little, there's still a little bit there. That would be annoying as hell, uh, you know, and it may, it may wear in. Yeah, so right on center, God, right at center, there's still, there's still some uh, binding there. Oh, now that's pretty good. I'd need to put the wheel on and see. But at the pitman arm, I'm not really, I'm not feeling any, uh, I'm not feeling any slop there, okay? Uh, there's, there's just a, there's just a tiny bit of bind there. But I want to put the steering wheel on and see if I feel it in the steering wheel. Because keep in mind, once I hook the tie rod ends up, this thing's sitting on the ground. Uh, there's going to be a lot more force exerted on all this stuff. Um, you know, so that may actually need to be snugged back up just a hair. Um, but if I'm feeling bind here, if it was a hard bind, even though I may not notice it as much with all the load on with the tires and everything like that and the steering wheel leverage, it would cause wear in here because it would be so tight. So I've got it to the point where I'm not worried about wear. I'm going to put the steering wheel on and uh, see how it feels. Oh, five minutes. Nice. So, put the steering wheel back on. 
and there's no there's no bind there. I think I gotta. Yeah, I'm having to lift the tie rod down there, so uh, oh, gravity's uh, working against me there. Anyway, oh, I, you can just barely feel it. A little bit of extra resistance. There's absolutely no way you're going to feel that when it's down on the ground and the tires and everything like that. Um, now, according to the book, you got to get something like a fish scale and hook it up here, and it, it gives the specs in the book and that stuff to pull out here. And it's, you know, initial braking torque, basically, uh, or weight, you know, and, I, and I'm, I'm not going to do it. Uh, I've got a digital fish scale, blah, blah, blah. Um, I don't think... Uh, most most dots and guys, shade tree mechanics, that kind of stuff, they're going to go, wow, that feels really good, you know, and if you if you know what you're looking for down at that end now, with the, uh, uh, you know, that feel and the lack of play and everything like that. Now, I won't know exactly how much play is in here until uh, I get some weight on it, too, or you start driving it, but uh, initial indications are really, really nice. I can, I can move it the tiniest bit, and I can see the tie rod end down there moving. Uh, so that's nice. Had I had that sector shaft all the way up, like when it started, this thing would have moved this far easily before the tie rod moved. That's how much play there was in it. So um, that covers the adjustments. This feels really nice, really light. I can't feel the uh, any bind in it. I'm going to call it good for now. Uh, I'm going to leave that bolted together, and I'm going to move on back onto the uh, uh, control arms and. Uh, get some work done on the control arms today. Uh, and then maybe once I'm, because there's going to be some downtime with the control arms waiting for laser cutting to get done. Uh, when that happens, maybe I'll see if I can come back and finish up the uh, steering column shortening. But I think you have enough information now with the with the tubing splice and stuff like that over the top and all that stuff. I think uh, you got everything you need for now, but I will follow up later with uh, what I do.